before this video I was so happy and I felt something is missing and I wasn't sure what was missing so all of this iteration I have something maybe plus or minus and then and at the again at the end of it I said okay so let's start all over again I will shred everything start all over again so now the idea which is I have is to have a three steps videos so the three steps videos we start with the first one which is I call it sneak peek which is I will show you the product the final product and the final product feel and look and then once you have an idea of how and uh, how things works here and how things would be looks like then I will follow with the second step which is the planning the planning stage will show you how we plan our system for the next step which is the programming step so this one will be entirely talking about the simulator internals then the last video would be the visual basic using the visual basic in the simulator and build a real one was an example then depend on the feedback maybe we'll add more examples and more typical units this is a simulator of something I built completely and entirely under Visual Studio which using Visual Basic in this simulator you can see there is four pumps and the four pumps has a small pipes to a header pipeline up a hill down the hill booster pump then another pipeline and ends up in a tank and this simulator you can see we have some values here which is the pressure and flow rate from each pump at discharge and then this is the header I have the flow rate and the pressure of the header I have here a value I can change it with my density of the flow and at the bottom I can find here a graph a trend uh, on the side you can see the speed of the simulator I can speed up the simulator and can pause the simulator at any moment that means I freeze the simulator or I can run it back again any pump of these I can click on the pump to start it and click on it to turn it off now if you can see there is some stuff here which is when I started this pump and stop it now it's maybe it's running at 40% speed this is an FIC module or a class when I click on it it shows me the loop again this is all built in visual basic I can change this PNID loop into a manual and I can change the output to 80% you can see there is a delay between my command from the controller until the pump actually speed reach it because that's something built into this pump simulation now if you want to tune it there is a button here I can open it I can change the tuning parameters and then I close it then close the whole thing the other thing here is when you run this system you think about the properties which is for each one of these do you want to change it during the runtime or not uh, in a perfect world when you finish the simulator you convert it into executable file and then it can be run and on any let's say Windows uh, PC but in this case it's executable file all the parameter had been locked in you cannot change it if you want to change the parameter of the pump you have to think about it so I built here let's say data change a button once I have it it open another form in the another form I have the pump data I can see the pump curves values here I can see the head maximum head for each pump and uh, the maximum flow and the execution type the 
timer of the pump and so on and here I can see there is the speed percentage change in a second that's mean if the command of speed to change from zero to hundred percent speed is the motor by itself forget about the pump the motor is it going to go from zero to hundred percent speed in one second in four seconds in five seconds definitely if it's on a pump it would be different so you have to say okay it will change let's say 10 percent in a second now i the way i build this thing when you change any number you can't see it's the background change to yellow uh if you want to know what is the actual number here because if you put let's say 20 and you want to go back i can read the data but if you let's say change a lot of these and you want to know what is the value the old value the old value is here just hover on it you will find the va old value so now when i write it to the program my hover here on it it's pump pay speed change in a second equal 10 previously it was 2 so if i change it back to let's say 2 it's not written back yet so when i write back go back here it will be two uh, this is if you think about changing some of the properties of your simulator during runtime again the pipeline i can have the pipeline elevation of the first one two meter second one is 10 the third one is minus 37 is down the hill and then i can read the data i can write the data back Okay, so back again here is my simulator I now if you can see this pump is at 80% the pressure which is developed for from the pump is 300 kPa which should be enough to reach the end here because we have 37 meter actually down the hill so it's helping my flow rate I can change the density and see what's the impact so it's not water it's a slurry so it's I change it there will be a change on the flow rate I can start another pump and see what's going on so the second pump starts speed up of course you can have a, a valve here and then once you open the valve the those two pumps will be on online together and pushing in the uh, header you can put of course in this pump minimum speed so when you give let's say the your command to go from 0 to 50 minimum speed 50 so the pump will never run below 50 it's up to you it's based on what's in the actual uh, system there you can see there is some kind of uh, flow rates here changes if you look at the uh, pump A and pump B, B you can change their uh, change their characteristics or the curve pump curve and uh, you can see what's the impact immediately here so that's what we are going to build we're not going to build this thing but we're going to build a typical thing for a pump or for a tank in our case in the third video we will build the tank because it's easy it's direct we can look at it immediately and see what's going on but what the idea is that we build the graph and the simulator behind it for a pump uh, but this is a variable of speed pump then you can use it for anywhere this is a block and it's an indicator and in this indicator it has some values in it here you can see there is a uh, low 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 high and high high it's again something you set it up so the indicator is another class you bring it and put it in here and then you just link it to any variable you wanted to see uh, the pnid loop you build a class for the pnid loop and once you have it you can link it to something when you click on it it shows up when you click on this button it's disappear 
but it's it's in on the form but it's not uh, visible uh, you can build it in something else you can build it in uh, a form like this like the PNID would be a form like this and then it's you can have multiple stuff so it, it's up to you how you build it but this is one way of building the simulator of course you can have uh, something like here which is uh, and you end this your simulator with the PNID loops um, is fun you can make it auto again and then I change the uh, sit point let's say to 600 oops 600 meter cube per hour and then you can see there is a lot of changes in the output and uh, the pump try to cope with the change and uh, reach uh, this required 600 so this is my sneak peek to the the final product and it's so as a simulator we will build a simulator in the next two videos about a tank this is uh, just a, a box here it's not really a tank but in our case we will have a tank we'll test it and see how it will work